Boy, that's nearly impossible. It's a bull. Getting them every day. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, what's up, folks? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. What is it, April 22nd? Man, the time is just flying by. We're already four months into the new year. <clears throat> Seems like we barely got over the last one. Uh, 72 degrees out there. Look at this weather here. Gotta love it. A little overcast, but still 72, man. It's April. All my local peeps, you know, we're we're still cool in the morning. This is like very unusual. It reminds me of the old days when uh, we get these nice cool mornings. Um, however, uh, I guess we're going to be getting into summer pretty soon. We'll see our, our 80 degree mornings at 4 a.m. So, <laughs> well, take a look at that beach, too. You know, things are not always as they appear, folks, in life. And uh, the beach is like that, too. You would expect to see all kinds of garbage and seaweeds, but not many people know it unless you see the beach every morning. But a tractor comes along here every morning and rakes up all the seaweed, all the dirt, all the dead fish and bodies. <clears throat> Sorry, there's no bodies out there, very often at least. Um, but uh, things aren't, it's not always as clean as it seems in life. Things are not always as they appear. And again, the beach is like that as well. And there goes a the tractor, in fact. There's the seaweed cleaning tractor with this little thing back there. And uh, if you went to the beach or you just looked at this once a day and you didn't know the tractor was out there, you'd think, damn, that's a clean beach. But, you know, it's just like life. Like I said, things are not always as they appear. There's something else that uh, doesn't. Oh, we got two of them out there, too. Well, let's move along to today's report. I got some cool things to talk about. Uh, uh, one of them is being out of silver. The other thing I'm going to talk about in the show is what wholesale dealers are buying and selling, what they're probably paying for product, uh, what I'm paying for product or thereabouts. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, a couple sites, online big sellers, uh, two of the big ones. I'm going to just do two today. I'm going to go over their different products, and of course, I can beat their prices. I always say that. Pretty easy for me to do, and I always recommend you buy local if you can beat the prices of, if you're local guy can beat the prices of the online guys, which shouldn't be too hard to do. And again, I'm always saying keep that money local, but I'm going to go over what I have to pay and what these guys online are going to pay, and I'm going to take a look at their site and some of the products that they have available and what they don't have available. If you notice, my headline here is out of silver, and uh, this is no crying wolf. This is not a uh, thumbnail uh, just to catch your attention. This is absolutely true. Basically, out of most all silver products, silver is uh, a much rarer commodity, it seems like, than gold at the moment. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, the premiums are incredible, but I'll get to that in a, middle, in a minute. Again, uh, I got my little sheet here with the spread prices, the bid prices, and ask prices of what dealers have to pay for stuff and what they, what they ask for it and what they sell it for, um, or what they try to buy it for and what they try to sell it for. And I'll give you those spreads here in towards the end of the show, but let's go over zero head and the things that we normally do every morning uh, and the things that you should be doing at least once a week or every morning as well. <clears throat> At some point, you won't even need me. <laughs> and that would be a good thing, uh, because I taught you everything you needed to know to be a good precious metal uh, a buyer and seller. Uh, let's, again, let's take a look at the records here. Uh, Ethereum, I, I, I used to call this youth. <laughs> Uh, Uethium or something like that was pretty awful, but uh, Ethereum, I can finally pronounce it correct, surges to record high as Bitcoin dominance tumbles. Well, it looks like that uh, 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 Bitcoin's tumbled and some of the other uh, 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 coins, or uh, I don't even call them coins because they're really not coins, uh, some of the other uh, cryptos uh, are benefiting from the fall, I guess. Not quite sure, don't know that market, but... Uh, uh, at some point, we had to see uh, a correction in that market. Uh, let's take a look at some other things, Americans on jobless benefits. Now, I do talk about some things that may not seem like they're directly involved with the price of gold, but they really are. It's, this is all about the uh, uh, politics and the economics uh, are, have a very big part to play in precious metals and gold and silver. Uh, and you really do have to keep your finger on the pulse of uh, the economy and the pulse of, of the ongoing politics and things that are going on in the world, black swan events. This has a great effect on the price of gold and silver, or should I say a greater effect on the price of the dollar and the price of fiat currencies, which uh, uh, rise and fall, but mostly fall over the long term. Uh, so, uh, you know, if a dollar or a peso or a ruble or a euro is going to get stomped on, this is uh, um, good for the price of gold, generally speaking, and silver. Not 
generally, always. Uh, so these are important things to know, watching the general economy and watching the politics out there. So this is why I talk about zero hedging and why you should watch this stuff too. Uh, America, this is uh, good for gold and silver, bad for the economy. Americans on jobless benefits jumped back above 17 million as initial claims dip. Um, as I said, uh, that's bad for the economy. That's good for uh, bad for the dollar. That's bad for uh, world global economy overall because uh, America is a big part of the global economy. Uh, so again, good for gold. Um, let's see, Tesla blunder can inflict serious damage. Well, you know, reading this kind of stuff too. What does that have to do with the price of gold? Well, what if Tesla is like the black swan that just goes down and takes down the rest of the Nasdaq market, and then Nasdaq takes down the Dow? How does that affect gold? Well, it's good for gold, bad for the dollar, bad for the economy, but good for gold. So now do you see why I kind of kind of bring up and have you, you know, you really kind of need to keep your finger on the pulse and and, and look and see what's going on in the world, and especially with black swans, which a black swan really is something that none of us should really see coming up. Uh, but there's people that can see. Uh, events coming or things building while other people are in denial about it or just plain don't see it. Uh, so <clears throat> very important you need to keep an eye on world events. Again, economy and politics. Uh, Biden unveils plan to slash U.S. green gas emissions by 50% during global climate summit. Well, how does that affect the price of gold, you ask yourself? Well, it affects the price of gold because it negatively affects the price of oil, uh, cars, uh, industry, and a lot of other things that's going to be very costly. And we're not in a great environment right now uh, to, to, ha to be filling our wish list of a, a greener economy. And again, I'm all about a cleaner and greener. Uh, however, it's got to be done at the right time. And governments seem to not ever know when the right time is. Uh, in fact, it's never a good time when they start something. They always started at the worst times. And that's what I think he's doing right now. He's starting at the worst time, especially with the economic downturn that we've had. Uh, but no less... <clears throat> Oh, and guess who doesn't have to? Uh, uh, guess who doesn't have to be involved with it? China doesn't have to be involved with the uh, uh, greenhouse gas emission. The world, the world getting together and say, let's reduce greenhouse. China is completely uh, not even involved with it, and they're one of the largest greenhouse gas uh, uh, problems on earth. Uh, but no less doesn't mean that the rest of us can't do it. Terrible timing, terrible timing. It's going to hurt the oil industry. It's going to hurt the car industry. It's going to hurt a lot of industries, I believe. Uh, what does that do for the price of gold and silver? It's good for the gold and silver prices, bad for the economy, bad for the dollar. Uh, again, uh, you see my whole point here. Um, Indian smashes global record for uh, new cases. Uh, that's actually uh, not really good for the price of gold because Indians are large buyers of gold and silver, and if their economy continues to get locked down, they're not buying gold. Uh, however, down here, I see that not that's not necessarily the truth. They are back to buying gold again. Uh, asset bubbles, a danger banker and reported. Um, again, I could go on here and show you the uh, how a lot of this stuff that you may not think ties into the price of precious metals does. Uh, is this the solution to Bitcoin's massive electricity consumption problem? Uh, tokenized carbon offset credit. <laughs> Somebody's really pushing the envelope to try to to try to uh, uh, make the uh, the idea that. Uh, it's not so bad. I mean, Bitcoin and, and these cryptocurrencies do take a huge amount of energy. And talking about greenhouse gases, at what point does that administration say, well, listen, um, first off, governments and banks, and we're going to look at this article a little bit that explains what I'm talking about here. Governments and banks hate competition. They're not, they're not good. They don't want any cryptos as an alternative form of money. Wall Street is not even going to be too happy uh, with Bitcoin uh, because uh, they don't want money going into Bitcoin. They want money going into their firms into their uh, into their customers accounts and so that they can buy and sell and churn accounts I'm not saying churn necessarily well they do churn accounts uh, so mutual funds that kind of thing that's what they want people into they don't want people into so governments banks and Wall Street hates competition they'll try to find a way to turn cryptos or whatever cryptos are left when the carnage is over uh, when they figure when the government figures out which ones they want to have around and which ones they don't want around um, um, the cryptos will just become money markets in my opinion and what's going to happen is governments are going to adopt cryptos with their own federal just look at the Chinese example right now but I digress and we have gone many times into the crypto uh, uh, crypto uh, uh, discussions here on this show uh, and you can take a look I've got some videos uh, that, that talk about crypto coins and and Bitcoin uh, anyways uh, I'm gonna anyways there's my first anyways of the day uh, I'm going to kind of say there's not too much on precious metals to talk about here on zero hedge uh, but I just kind of wanted to go over well, 
the importance of uh, keeping abreast of the news and keeping abreast of economic activity out there. And I don't say you have to watch corporate media. I love Zero Hedge because they, they provide corporate media as narrative and they provide other narratives that are different than corporate media. So I like different narratives. I like to pick out uh, I, I like to use my own brain, and I suggest you do as well. Uh, you know, listen to what other people have to say, but uh, also realize that they may be wrong and look for alternative viewpoints. Uh, and that's what I love about the Internet, and that's what I love about uh, doing the show, actually. I'm providing you an alter alternative um, uh, thought process here. So let's move along to, we'll get out of ZH here again, not too much in precious metals. And let's start talking about, oh, there was there one article here. And let me see, which one was it? Oh, <laughs> Ethereum surges to record highs as Bitcoin dominance tumbles. Uh, uh, and that's probably the reason I started talking about Bitcoin, because I did read part of this article. However, what I was talking about earlier about governments hate competition, um, China uh, recently, made, well, China made it illegal to deal in Bitcoin. Now they're talking about maybe bringing back uh, some forms of cryptos, but actually they're just trying to get people hyped up about their own crypto that they've just released, which has a expiration date and which is all the worst things in, in uh, 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 crypto money that you could ever imagine. And again, that's where banks are going. That's where governments are going. United States, the UK, Russia, all of these countries are going to develop their own they want to go to a cashless society, folks. Uh, cashless society gives them more power to see where you spend your money, what you spend your money on, who you spend, where you get your money, and uh, also how to tax you better. Because apparently, with cryptos, at one point, if you owe tax money and they think you owe them money, you don't have to send them a check anymore. They're just going to debit right out of your crypto account. Watch, it's going to happen. It's already happening in China. That's my opinion. So Bitcoin may be under some pressure after report by Guardian that Morton Fries, the head of the UK bank at NatWest Risk Committee, revealed that the bank will refuse to service business customers that accept cryptocurrency payments. So here you go. Here's the first. Governments hate competition. What did I tell you? Banks. I've been saying this for a long time, over a year now. Banks hate competition as well. Uh, and here you go. This bank will refuse to service any customers that are dealing in, in Bitcoin or cryptos. Uh, Freeze made these uh, bank positions known as Wednesday shareholder events, stating, so this is a fact, this is not just you know bullshit uh, rumor, uh, we have no appetite for dealing with customers, whether taking them on as new clients or having an ongoing relationship with people whose main business is backed by an exchange of cryptocurrencies or otherwise transacting in cryptocurrencies as their main activity. So basically, this particular bank, NatWest, uh, being one of the first big major banks to say, in UK, screw it. We don't want to mess with the coin, and any customers that are messing with cryptos are, are not going to be customers. Are uh, so there you go. I think this is just the start of the uh, uh, waterfall effect that you're going to have with governments and banks that are going to uh, uh, take the wind out of the sail of all these different things. Meanwhile, if you know how the crypto coin game is played, you know how it's rigged, and you're making money, I completely encourage you to do it and take the profits that you make and put it into gold and silver. Um, let's take a look at uh, a, a gold article here, too. Um, I really liked it. Uh, Brian, 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 uh, London. Uh, everything revolves around gold. I'm going to click this article here, too, real quick and read it. And I'm sorry if I'm going to make this a long show, but there's some good content here. Again, I'm going to go over the wholesale prices with you in a little bit. Uh, let me find that article. Uh, you should be reading this, too, as well. Uh, here it is, goldnewsletter.com. Um, I'm sure these guys, uh, I like their article. I can't tell you what they buy or sell. And again, whatever they buy or sell, if it has anything to do with precious metals, I will beat their prices, but i got to give them credit. Um, they uh, write some good stuff. I did like this particular article. I don't know what else they write, but I did like uh, this Dear Fellow Investors. And remember, they're trying to sell something here, but I found this worthy of reading, and again, they did a nice job on it. i got to give them credit for that for sure. Uh, when I give presentations to a newbie gold investor, I often lead off with a simple question. What is an ounce of gold worth today? The answer, an ounce of gold. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I follow that up by noting that the dollar, on the other hand, is currently worth about one 175th of an ounce of gold. And again, remember what I told you, that gold is real money. Silver is real money. Gold is real money for 5,000 years. Central banks own it. Bankers own it. The elite own it. But they tell you to own the fiat paper stuff. And now they're trying to push you into uh, zeros and ones online. Uh, but no less, uh, I've been saying this for a long time. And I like, to, I like to read this. I like other people. This is a, a confirmation of what I've been saying for a while. Uh, see the difference? As a natural immutable standard of value, the ultimate money, gold doesn't fluctuate in value. Everything else fluctuates against it. And I guess, you know, 
Um, <laughs> we talk about gold fluctuations on a daily basis because that's the, the you know how we do view it actually in reality. Uh, but I, but the way this gentleman views it is kind of the way that I view it and a lot of other people view it is is we look at it more in a medium long term. We see these fluctuations on a daily basis uh, as they're not going to last long. They'll go away just like fiat currencies will go away. You know, currency is not backed by anything whether it's a piece of paper or whether it's digital. They're fiat. Uh, but gold and silver will still be here uh, as long as humans are uh, buying and selling stuff and uh, as long as humans need a, uh, a medium of exchange that uh, it cannot be uh, recreated and cannot be uh, reproduced and cannot and they print more of uh, and that's gold. Uh, so like corn, uh, copper, oh gosh, there I go. <laughs> Here's a good, here I am uh, pronouncing names. Uh, uh, Copernicus discovery that the earth, I should know this stuff to I'm embarrassed. Uh, Copernicus discovery that the earth revolves around the sun. Once you adopt this gold center view of financial universe, it changes everything. And this is true. Once I've adopted, it took me a while to do it. I've been in this business since I was a kid. It took me a long time to adopt that kind of thinking and attitude. You know, basically, if you notice in the last, uh, um, a couple months, I've been talking about how the price of gold is not down. Uh, you know, it's not. There's not a premium on uh, gold bars and coins right now, or silver bars and coins. There is a discount on paper, and you see how I'm looking at that. I'm looking at it in an entirely different way. So, gold coins and silver bars and silver coins are not overpriced. There's not a big premium. The fact is, is paper is discounted. The paper is discounted. Uh, it's a different mindset, and once you start looking at it that way, everything changes. Uh, as he says right here, it's a lesson, frankly, that even many long-established gold investors need to learn. My gosh, uh, kind of parroting what I just said, uh, or am I parroting what they said? Well, I um, I didn't read it, so they're parroting me. <laughs> because once you have a deep understanding that all values are relative and that the relative gold, you no longer worry about the daily fluctuations uh, in the price of yellow metal. Wow, wow. Hey, who is this guy? We're on the same page. Uh, who wrote that? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to find out at the end here. Uh, whoever wrote this, uh, you got you were on the same page here, brother. Uh, instead, you see the prices of everything else fluctuating. Um, and I like that mindset. And this is the mindset that I want you folks to get into. This is why I'm teaching you stuff here. I'm not trying to be... Uh, uh, the guy that feeds you every day. I'm trying to get be the guy that teaches you how to feed yourself. Uh, and that's why I read these articles, look at this stuff, and, and teach you what I know. Uh, your window into a gold-centric model. It's actually quite revealing, even liberating to look at the world through the lens of gold because it's an entirely new world. Completely agree with that. He brings up a site that I'm going to take a look at later. It's called Priced in Gold, which is really cool, which shows historic gold uh, charts of dozens of different assets and items price as the name implies, in gold. So basically, it prices everything in gold. Take a look at this site, folks, pricingingold.com. If I remember, I'll try to uh, do. I'll try to bring it up in the uh, next video I do, or maybe a video next week. Uh, again, I've got to uh, book link that uh, or link that site. Uh, for example, we know that the U.S. stock market has been soaring for years as the Fed has adopted extraordinary accommodate, uh, monetary policies. But the following chart of the S&P from price gold tells a very different story. Take a look at this. If it wasn't priced in dollars, you know, fiat dollars and, you know, fiat crypto, anything that's not backed by something, cryptos are fiat, U.S. dollars are fiat, pesos are fiat, rubles are fiat, the yuan is a fiat. Um, so anything priced in fiat, this chart right here, the S&P, would look like this. You see my finger going up like this. But look at it in the price of gold. So, you know, if you look at it in a gold-centric view, um, really... The best times were this particular time in uh, uh, for pressure, you know, for gold, not for gold, but uh, uh, for for the S and P. And look where the S and P is right now. Kind of a totally different picture uh, than if you put this in U.S. dollars in terms of dollars or other world currencies, or should I say, fiats. In real money that maintains its value, this is what the S and P looks like in reality. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, when measured against the golden dollar, golden dollar cent, the U.S. stock market is no, now lower than it was in the 1960s. Um, the same effect can be observed in dozens upon dozens of other prices. Check out the ubiquitous Big Mac gauge of price inflation when measured in gold. And they actually have a Big Mac. Check this out, folks. Uh, if you had to buy, if if you if you compare the uh, gold price with uh, what a Big Mac cost, here you go. Um, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, the price of a Big Mac has been steadily decreasing around the world if you measure in the price of gold in real money, not declining fiat value. So this is really interesting, folks. And uh, this gentleman says, as you know, or lady, I don't know yet, as you know, I stress to every investor, especially investors just getting started in a personal, that they need to own physical gold and silver as a wealth insurance. 
Um, yeah, and you know what? I'm, I can read all this. There he is. I, I already said his name. I'm sorry. Uh, Brian or Brian London. Great job, Brian, editor of Gold Newsletter. I think you nailed it, sir. Uh, our, our minds are actually on the same spectrum when it comes to uh, a gold-centric view and a silver-centric view. Uh, thanks for a great article. And uh, I recommend you guys read this, too. And as I said, I'm not afraid to show you competitors. As you know, I'll show you the big online sellers. You know why I'm not afraid to show you competitors? Because I'm very competitive as well. And I will beat their prices. Uh, and I'm a local dealer anyway, so they don't have to worry about me beating their prices uh, because they're not going to get into my neighborhood. <laughs> so, uh, again, I'm very competitive. Uh, let's take a look at uh, a um, couple things here. You know what? I'm going to do yesterday's comments at the very end here. So I'm going to put yesterday's comments uh, over here. And uh, let's talk about premiums. Let's talk about what I originally brought up here, the lack of silver and gold out there. Out of silver, seriously, no bullshit. Um, um, I called, I, I am still waiting, weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh, and by the way, there was a gentleman that came in yesterday, said he was one of my big fans, young man, uh, came at the end of the day. Hey, I waited for you till 5 o'clock. I canceled an appointment. I don't know where you went. You were going to get some money to buy some 90, and then you just disappeared. Uh, didn't come back. But I, would, I want you to know, I did wait till 5 for you, sir. Um, but uh, if you want to come back, I can do it again. And uh, uh, thanks for watching again. And sorry that uh, if something happened to you, well, boy, I hope you're okay. Uh, but no less, I uh, just wanted to let this customer, again, he said he's uh, one of my biggest fans out there, and he drove down to see me um, and went to get his money out of his car, and I didn't see him since. So I hope you're okay, dude. Uh, I think maybe something happened, an emergency, he had to go somewhere. Uh, let's take a look at uh, prices here. Um, SD Bullion. Uh, I like SD Bullion at Max. I always tell customers and people uh, that I will beat the uh, three big online sellers. You know, I had to pick with three, and I know there's some other sellers out there that are good, small sellers and big sellers, but I picked the three big majors who are, in my opinion, extremely competitive, have great business models, and do well. Uh, again, not taking anything away from these companies at Max SD or JM. I'm just saying that I can beat their prices and I'm very competitive. Uh, and I'm local. And the one thing they do that I don't do is they ship out. Uh, so if you don't live near me and you don't have a good local dealer, uh, I'd recommend those three companies. But let's take a look at their products here and what they've got. Look, available silver products for, for silver. Now, um, I'm going to tell you right now, as I go through, I'm going to look at the Atmex, and I'm going to look at uh, uh, SD. I'm going to go through both of these. I didn't put JM just because we'd be here forever, and we already have these shows are pretty long as they are. Um, let me go to silver products right here. Now, these are average by bid and ask prices on silver. Chances are Atmex, JM, and all the dealers across the country are in similar uh, uh, ranges of what I'm going to give you here as far as buying prices go. I'm actually on the CCE network and if you ever notice that when I do my spot prices this is a it's a subscription only network it's been around for 50 60 years um, it's just coin dealers and precious metal dealers expensive to be on monthly fee um, but uh, um, Atmex is on that system and I think JM I'm not sure JM or SD is but Atmex is on there I have sold Atmex things before and again fine company but as a competitive guy, i got to tell you, like I said, for the 10th time today, I can beat their prices. And maybe you can find a local dealer that can as well because, again, keeping buying local keeps the money local. And I sound like a broken record every day, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but let me move back over here to products here. Uh, look, Atmex says this is available products. But look, it's not available. Pre-sale, pre-sale, pre-sale. We're out of freaking silver, folks. Even my uh, suppliers, who I've been dealing with for for 30 years plus now, known for a long time. I know all the major wholesalers and dealers out there. I've got accounts with a lot of the big guys. I've got accounts with major uh, refineries. I'm not no major big guy, but I'm well, uh, uh, you know, I'm well connected in the business. Uh, but no less. Uh, look at this. Pre-sale, pre-sale. These are not available products at Max. You probably should take these off. These are your available products right now. Uh, but again, pre-sale, uh, which means they have the product. They can get the product. The product's coming in. They don't know when or they'll give you an approximate time. Uh, but really, no product on hand. Look what Atmex has on hand. Uh, two ounce round Latin Allure series. I mean, uh, it's for $67. Two, and there's another one. Some real esoteric weird product. And I tell you exactly what's going on here is that Atmex... And let's take a look at SD, uh, same, same thing, available silver products. Look at that, uh, Trump rounds, <laughs> uh, Fender Stratocoaster silver coin, oh, $114. Look what Atmex, uh, look what SD, so it's the same thing with JM as well, I'm sure, and all the other uh, sellers out there. They're down to selling these really crazy esoteric products. Um, uh, 
oh look they have uh, almost thousand ounce bars there uh, that's probably a better deal out of all of them. Yeah, 27, but still a premium. Uh, no less. A premium on 1,000 ounce bars. Go figure. Never thought I'd see that day in my life. But no less. Uh, look at the products that are available. Uh, notify me, notify me, notify me. Uh, they do have Silver Eagles, some Silver Eagles available. Add to cart. They got KRs. Uh, but look at the prices they're asking as well. The premiums on this stuff are just crazy. What are we looking at for the price of silver right now? 26 34 uh, and I'll update that let me do that real quick because we'll be talking about that as well now 2634 just hanging in that range uh, but look at the premiums on this 26 that's a ten dollar premium right there folks ten dollars an ounce uh, silver eagles are like ten bucks an ounce and again in a little bit I'll tell you what the best deals still are uh, I had to raise my prices by the way too I don't think there's going to be any uh, uh, five dollar uh, premium silver left available out there pretty soon based on what I'm seeing and again out of silver was not bullshit folks people are running out there's hard to find product right now um, so look at all these different products here. Now I'm going to go over, uh, let's take a look at the uh, best sellers in silver for um, Atmex. And I can do the same thing here. And let's see what uh, JM, again, I like these companies, but uh, uh, if you can get a local dealer to sell you the stuff for the same price, a little bit more, do it, keep the money local. And again, I can always beat their prices. But let's take a look at their, their stuff out here. Silver Eagles, uh, let's see what they're getting for Silver Eagles. And... Wow, $37, and that's if you buy like 1500 of them. $38 if you buy less than 20 Silver Eagles. Uh, but let's use that $37 price range. What does that put uh, 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 Silver Eagles at? 11 bucks over spot. Okay, well, let me tell you what the bid and ask price is for Silver Eagles right now. Ready? They're asking $37 a coin. I'm asking, um, oh, I can't tell you right now, but... <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I'm asking for them right now, and then I'll tell you what the wholesale spreads are. Let's take a look at Silver BU Eagles. Now, again, these are averages. Uh, they can range under or over or in between, but the current bid average for Silver BU Eagles is the dealers, majors, and most dealers are paying around plus $5 per ounce from each other, not from the public, from each other. If you're buying from another dealer, chances are you're gonna uh, be trying to buy around, buy around $5 per coin. Doesn't mean you're not gonna pay six or seven if you need them. Uh, or doesn't mean that uh, uh, you want, might not get them for four if you're lucky. Uh, but the ask price on Silver Eagles is currently plus eight. Now, for example, if they cost me eight, I make a dollar each way coming and going in small quantities like one to 20 or 20 to 99. Um, so I'd be a seller right now of Silver Eagles at $9 over. They're showing spot at 26.41. Uh, so that would put me at uh, 35.41 is what my selling price is, which I'm still lower than their price right there. So like I said, it's easy for me to beat the online sellers when it comes to, uh, and I have product on hand. But here's the thing is I don't have any uh, one ounce rounds on hand. Uh, I just ordered whatever I can get. An, I got another few hundred to which I had to scrape up. I've never had to scrape up. I need like five to ten thousand one ounce rounds just for my store stock and a bunch of ten ounces and some other things. I can't uh, uh, resupply my store stock of one ounce generic rounds right now. Again, I need up to five thousand pieces just you know for small store sales. Um, I can't find them. I had to scrape together. 200 pieces for stupid one ounce rounds. It took me work to find that yesterday. I am so frustrated right now. We are out of silver, folks. There's no doubt about that. Um, there, I don't know where it's gone or where the silver product is, but it's just not around, not available. Uh, let me go over a few other silver products with you as well. One ounce silver buffaloes. They've got them as low as $31.23. I'm out completely. I don't know where they got theirs from, but they still have some left. But let's see what their premium is. Uh, they're at $31.23. Um, generic one ounce rounds you know actually I can place an order for generic one ounce rounds but uh, I don't know when the delivery time is going to be and let's see what what approximately my cost is going to be on generic one ounce rounds and it looks like I'm looking at the sheet here uh, one ounce first quality the bid the bids are around plus two dollars so dealers are amongst themselves are paying around two dollars to three dollars um, and maybe a little bit less uh, to buy the product amongst themselves. Uh, when they're trying to sell the product to wholesale, they're getting around three to four dollars an ounce over. Uh, so again, um, I can place orders for one ounce silver products, but I have not available. I can't get anything for immediate delivery, uh, and it's going to run around spot plus four fifty right now. And it looks like uh, 10 ounce bars are the same thing, but again, don't have any on hand. Everything is for future delivery. It's tough to find products for immediate delivery right now, folks. It really is. And 
all you got to do is just look at uh, what they're going through. Pre-sale, pre-sale, pre-sale. Um, actually, Atmex has done a good job. They've got a few products here available, but they're way higher uh, than uh, than I would be if I ordered them for you. Uh, but no less, uh, there is a big shortage of product out there. I'm going to just talk about a few other things, available products. Let's see what available products are in gold. Um, looks like they have uh, American Eagles, overpriced folks. Uh, but let me take a look and see what the spreads are. What's the wholesale spreads I wrote down on the uh, American Eagles? Uh, the bid price, again, this is what dealers buy and sell amongst each other's. Uh, and again, give or take a little bit. The bid price on one ounce gold eagles is around $85. Um, the ask price is around $135. And if you notice all these, even these wholesale sp uh, spreads, the bid and ask spreads I'm giving you amongst dealers have wide spreads. You know, typically the spreads amongst dealers is very small. It's like a dollar an ounce at the most on silver usually. And now we're seeing two and three dollar spreads even in the wholesale industry, guys. Um, uh, look at the ask prices: one hundred and thirty-five dollars for gold eagles. So if a go if a dealer has some available out there on my CC network or wherever, uh, I, I have to expect to pay around one hundred and thirty-five dollars over for them. Now, can I get them cheaper? Yeah, if I search around, might they cost me more if I can, you know if they're tough tough to get? Yeah, they could. It's a funny time right now, folks. Uh, let's take a look at maples too. What's the wholesale bid price and ask price? Uh, it's forty dollars on the bid, seventy dollars on the ask. Uh, again, big spreads here, folks. Even amongst us wholesale guys, and uh, uh, and the product is a little tougher to find, even on some of these gold products. Um, best deals out there right now are definitely still going to be uh, gold bars. I think the gold bar spread is uh, the wholesale bid price is around forty right now. If you have to buy them wholesale, and if you got to buy them, uh, if you got to buy them uh, uh, or sell them uh, wholesale, uh, I think the spread is what is the spread? Oh, hold on. Uh, plus ten dollars on the bid and plus forty on one ounce gold bar, uh, one ounce uh, gold bars and cards. Again, best deal out there. As long as we can be getting uh, uh, gold bars at these kind of uh, bid and ask levels, and again, I make anywhere from uh, ten to forty dollars per ounce, depending on the quantity that people are buying. Uh, so gold bars are still the best deal out there. Again, the ask price on gold bars, the wholesale ask price is around plus forty dollars for good gold bar products in in cards you know with the serial numbers and everything uh eagles again 135 look at that that is a holy smokes that is a 95 dollar difference between gold bars and gold eagles on the wholesale ask price folks um buffaloes are even worse look they're not even available uh call for availability uh a lot of companies are saying call for availability on buffaloes they just don't have them he's got buffaloes as low as 1975 but look at that freaking premium however the gold buy price, the bid price of dealers right now is plus $90 for, for buffaloes. Holy smokes. Uh, some of this product is just way overpriced. You know, why would you be spending $200 over for a gold buffalo or $180 for uh, the uh, American Eagle here when you can buy a one ounce gold pant bar for $18.95? Look at the price of that. And again, I can beat these prices right here, folks. So um, I don't mind showing you Atmex and JM, and again, they're they're good companies. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, but again, I always push you to buy local when you can. It keeps the money local. Uh, I won't go into the SD bullion products uh, too much here. Uh, here's what I do know: is that I was saying uh, that I was advertising to sell US 90% at $4 uh, spot plus $4. Well, guess what, folks? I can't even buy it for that right now. <laughs> it's costing me plus $4 now. The wholesale bid and ask price, and I have never seen this happen in a long, 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 long time, uh, consistently like this, where the premiums just keep going up consistently. I thought the product would start trickling out. Folks, we are out of silver, uh, industry-wide, worldwide. Uh, if the product is just not out there in investment form right now. Uh, look at 90% silver. The bid is plus 250. The ask is plus four dollars. That's again a ballpark, but that's just incredible. Still, and the spreads are again spreads are stupid wide for the wholesale uh, prices here, but. Uh, the bid prices are way over the spot price, and so are the ask prices. So what does this tell you? Again, this tells you that the uh, price of gold and silver that we see right here, gold, silver, and platinum, is bullshit. That's a bullshit discounted paper price. Again, I want you to look at this in a different mindset. We, we've been talking about mindsets here, how to be gold-centric, how to be silver-centric. So different mindset. I want you to look at uh, um, this as a Right here, 1787, 2634, 12. I want you to look at these as bullshit discounted paper prices, and that the real price that you're paying is uh, whatever the cheapest product that you can buy 
a real product like gold bars. Here's what the real price of gold is, folks. 1895 thereabouts. You can knock off 40 bucks for your premium. That still puts you the real gold price is probably 1840. As far as silver, uh, silver price is so fictitious it's not even funny. In my opinion, the real price of silver is well over $30. Uh, however, the bullshit discounted paper price is still showing around 26. Uh, let's talk about prices here real quick. And before we get into uh, answering some comments from yesterday's show. Um, so currently we're looking at set down a little bit from yesterday's high, but I expected that. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. It looks like, look at the high, 1798.26 last night, um, or earlier I should say. It looks like the uh, morning markets and early evening markets are kind of leading the way. I don't think New York opened that high. in uh, the low is 1780, so we're sitting around 1786. Uh, but, you know, again, the real price of gold is, is higher than that. This is the discounted paper price. Uh, the price of discounted paper price of silver right now is showing 26.35, but the real price is probably well over 30. Uh, what was the range of the discounted paper price last night? 26.24 to 26.61. And uh, let's take a look at platinum again, still cheap. These metals are just cheap, folks. Um, the fact that it's getting really hard to buy silver product, and it's hard to find silver product, um, Ooh, just kind of goes to show you we are in a bull market here, especially with silver. Uh, it's just that these paper markets, the media, and uh, a lot of people are in just denial or just plain manipulation and denial, a combination of the two. Uh, but no less, if you look at the physical markets and what the stuff really costs to buy, uh, we're in a, oh, gosh darn, uh, I think we're going to see some crazy times here. If it's tough to buy silver at $26 in amounts, 26, can you imagine when the silver market starts to run? There's going to be no silver, folks. None. Zero. Zip. Uh, we're already in that position, and, and, and we're, we're at crap sideways market. $26, mid-20s range for how long now? A ridiculous amount of time, and we can't find silver, silver still? Just imagine when the silver run really starts, uh, when it gets in the bubble territory. There's going to be no product, period. Um, I don't know what that's going to do to industry when they have no silver to make uh, solder, to make phones, and all that stuff. Could turn into a, a national emergency type thing. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, let me move into comments here. I discussed quite a few things, and I do apologize for making this show long, but my intent here is to teach you some good stuff. Um, my show yesterday was gold and silver prices way up, and they indeed were way up. I discussed why I thought they were. Uh, a. Murray says gold and silver is not way up. Silver is up uh, $76, and you call that way up. Uh, well, yeah, I do. Gold is up 1480 way up, and silver is up 35 gold. That is way up. Mm, okay, Murray, you lost me there. I'm sorry, but hey, thanks for watching, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, Elias Zakim says, I, IDK about you guys. I pay $100 an ounce for silver crafts. Um, I don't know what IDK means. I'm sorry. I'm kind of internet uh, ignorant when it comes to some uh, abbreviations. I pay hundred for silver crafts. Oh, silver crafts. I know what those are, at least. Uh, guys that make really cool silver things. That's not a silver investment, though, sir. That's an investment in a collectability, collectible item. Uh, that's not like buying a bar. Uh, but, hey, thanks for watching. And uh, Rick Hayes says, how much for your bull bear coin? Not for sale, sir. Especially, no crap, I kid you not, this thing has rolled heads every freaking time since last week as far as uh, on the daily markets go. It's gotten it right every day. It's almost spooky. It keeps rolling heads. One day I had to reshoot the show five, four times because of the technical thing, you know, or start it over four times. I did the coin four times. Heads, I mean, bull, 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 bull. <laughs> and it was a bull market that day, too. So there's something crazy going on here. I don't believe that stuff, though. So <laughs> Gnarly Silver says, what's your opinion on certified coins? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I think coins and bullion are two different things. Apples and oranges, you can't combine the two. You shouldn't try to combine the two. If you're buying bullion, you don't need it certified, for sure. All you need to do is make sure it's a real coin. Certification should be in the form of maybe a, a hard plastic card that your old bar fits in. Uh, but as far as PCGS, NGC, coin certifications, that's for collectibles only. Uh, I mean, if you can get the holder for free and you're buying a gold eagle and you're not paying anything extra for uh, that plastic holder, then sure. But if you're buying anything that needs to be uh, graded or certified, you're, you're not buying a bullion item. You're buying a collectible item. And if you're buying a collectible item, you're probably paying way more than a spot price, and that's too much, sir. Uh, we're here to buy bullion. Just bars. Who cares what it looks like as long as it's real? Uh, butter beans. Yes, great. Thank you, sir. Uh, there, there misses a time again. I miss the good old days when stuff was made out of silver. Me too, sir. Uh, Linda Quadlin says, do you know any good dealers in San Antonio, Texas? 
No, I don't specifically, but in, in Texas does have some good bullion dealers for sure. Uh, take a little time, look on Google, make sure they've been there for at least 10 years in the same location or they've been in business in, for at least 10 years and ask them if they will meet or beat the online prices. Uh, most dealers can, most local dealers can. Uh, Savoy Truffle says, and thanks for watching, Linda. Savoy Truffle says, I'm not really feeling any price pinch this month. Um, yeah, it's kind of a strange market out there. And Savoy Truffle, you're a very good uh, 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 watcher here. I see you're watching all the time. And I really appreciate all your comments and everything. Uh, thanks for uh, watching daily. I really appreciate it. Uh, Gun Guntucky says, personally, I think by winter things are broken loose and metals will no longer be manipulated as Fed. We have lost control of inflation. Uh, boy, you'd pull a Peter Schiff there by saying this winter. <laughs> but I agree with you 100%, and so would Peter Schiff. Um, uh, but picking by winter, uh, well, you know what? Um, I did. I said that yesterday, didn't I? I? I actually came out and made, oh, stuck my foot in my mouth and made a comment that uh, uh, picking a time frame that I think is this year is going to be the year when the stock market takes a crap and that uh, precious metals really do well uh, and the economy starts to go really sour. But again, you know, you can be a hero or zero by picking specific short-term time frames with these metals. <laughs> Any market, I guess. Uh, so. I agree with you, sir. We're on the same page. Uh, Robert Man uh, Melendez says, great job, sir. Thanks, Robert. I appreciate it. And in the end of April 2011, I was at the Central States selling my one-third stack of silver. Very cool, Jim. Central States. I've been there many times. So you're a coin guy as well. Uh, you know, that's how I kind of started in this business, actually, both. Uh, precious metals is easy to learn. Once you know, once you learn coins, precious metals is easy. Trust me on that. Uh, thanks for watching, Jim. Jay Gill says, hey, Brian, I heard you bring up Chris Marcus in the video. Uh, I'll check out his YouTube channel, Arcadia Economics. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like what I've heard from him. I think I've actually seen some of his channels. Uh, we're on similar pages there. And, and uh, again, what he was saying is the same thing I've been saying and Ted Butler's been saying. Again, not an original thought on my part, but uh, uh, again, we're all on the same page. Uh, Stephen Pollock says, Number two comment, I'm on the roll. <laughs> uh, Special Inspector says, thanks uh, Thanks for watching, Steve. Uh, uh, thanks for your videos. Wish I had a local coin store in Los Angeles. Uh, look around, because again, I think you may have some guys around there. Uh, there's a company called Gold and Stuff, or Gold and Coins, and I think they're in California, but I don't know how far they are away from you. Uh, good seller, known him a long time, if you can find him. Uh, thanks for watching, Special Inspector. Cool Breeze says, my favorite silver update by far. Uh, I'm entertaining, always entertaining, and I like to be informative, but entertaining, really? I never thought of myself as entertaining, but uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do a little dance here, too. Ready? <laughs> That's entertaining. Uh, wait a minute, doggy says, relief here as my beaten down gold mine stocks come back to life. Wow, wait a minute, doggy. That's so cool that you're in the gold mining stocks. I heard they're a great place to be. You can you can live or die in the gold mine stock. <laughs> my understanding is they make wild and crazy moves. But, you know, in an, in an up gold market, uh, you can make good money in mining stocks. So, uh, but a problem with mining stocks is you're not necessarily buying the mine or the gold. You're buying the company. And a mine, as you know, if you ever watch that show Gold Rush, a mine can be poorly run even if it has great gold in the ground. Uh, so if a mine is poorly run, you're not going to make money on that miner. So buy the good miners. Uh, Steve, there you are again. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching, Steve. Wildcat says physical silver is a key stacking to the ceiling. Absolutely, Wildcat. If you can keep buying it, buy the cheapest form you can. It's getting tougher and tougher to do. Hard and hard to find silver, but keep stacking. Uh, hey, thanks for watching these videos yesterday, folks. And uh, wow, that's really about it. We got through this show here. Another day. I, each day I'm always wondering, what the hell am I going to say today, man? Uh, and then it just manages to happen. Hey, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Real important, hit that like button for me. Uh, it shows up in the algos here. Helps me get more local business is what I'm really looking for. If you don't live inside my area, you need to find yourself a local coin dealer. Uh, and if you can't find a good local coin dealer, uh, definitely uh, hit one of the three big sellers I discussed here. And uh, that's really about it. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811 between the hours of 10 a.m., 4 p.m. Mondays through Fridays. Happy to help you with everything uh, or anything that you need and tell you what the best deal of the day is. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos uh, and my uh, 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 good reviews here on my page. <laughs> and that's really about it. If anything happens that's crazy, I'll do another video today. Uh, likely not, though. I will talk to you tomorrow. And uh, again, uh, thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. Have yourself a great day. Talk to you soon.